Let's be honest, starting a car with a dead battery or faulty ignition switch can be more frustrating than trying to untangle a pair of headphones. But fear not my friends, in this video, we are going to reveal 3 superpowers that can help you start your vehicle in those dreaded situations. And just a friendly reminder, please use these powers for good, not for taking your neighbor's Ferrari out for a joyride. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss our helpful tips and tricks. What's up car lovers? It's your friends from Car Computer Exchange. And we're here to talk about something just as important as finding the perfect driving playlist. Maintaining your car's transmission. Now, I know what you're thinking. Boring. But trust us, ignoring the warning signs of low or dirty transmission fluid can lead to some serious car troubles. And nobody wants that. So, let's dive in and learn about the importance of checking your transmission fluid regularly and preventing those costly repairs. And don't worry, we promise to make it as wittier and relatable as possible. Picture this. You're all set to hit the road for an epic adventure, and you turn your key to start your car, but instead of hearing the sweet sound of your engine roaring to life, all you hear is a frustrating clicking sound. Ah, talk about a buzzkill. We've all been there, and it's not a fun place to be. But fear not, my fellow road warriors, for there are ways to diagnose and fix the problem. So let's start with scenario 1. Your car won't start. The first step is to test the battery. But how do you do that? Well, if you have automatic windows, try rolling them up and down. If they're sluggish or don't work at all, your battery is likely the culprit. Another way to test your battery is check the brightness of your headlights. If they're bright, then your battery is likely fine. But if they're dim, then your battery is too weak to start your car. Now, what if your headlights aren't the issue? In that case, it's likely the starter. If you turn the key and the headlights don't dim, and the windows and headlights work properly, then the starter is the likely culprit. Finding and fixing the starter So, how do you find and fix the starter? First things first, let's locate the starter. You can do this by following the cables from the positive side of the battery. The starter is usually located on the bottom of the engine block near the transmission. Now, on to the common problems with non-functioning starters. One of the most common issues is worn out or corroded brushes. These brushes are responsible for conducting electrical current from the battery to the starter's commutator. Over time, they can wear down or become corroded, which leads to poor contact between the brushes and the commutator. This poor contact can prevent the starter from engaging, and your car won't start. So, how do we fix this issue? Well, one technique is to tap the starter motor and solenoid with a long screwdriver, pry bar, or a piece of wood. This can improve contact between the brushes and commutator and can often get your car started. However, keep in mind that this is just a temporary fix and you'll need to address the underlying issue of worn out or corroded brushes. To replace the brushes, you'll need to remove the starter from your car. This can be a bit of a tricky process, so it's best to consult your car's manual or seek the help of a professional mechanic if you're not confident in your abilities. Once you've removed the starter, you can access the brushes and replace them with new ones. Be sure to clean the commutator while you're at it as it can also become corroded over time and lead to poor contact. Have you ever had to deal with a dead fuel pump or ignition switch problem? It can be a frustrating and stressful situation, especially if you're in a hurry. But with a little bit of knowledge and resourcefulness, you can get your car back on the road in no time. So, what are some tips and tricks that have worked for you in these situations? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Starting a car with a dead fuel pump If you're not sure what a fuel pump is, it's a vital component of your car's fuel system that pumps gas from the tank to the engine. So, if it fails, your car won't start. 
but fear not because there's a simple trick you can try before calling for a tow truck. Similar to tapping the starter, try tapping the fuel tank with a rubber mallet or even your hand. Yes, you heard that right. Give it a good tap and it might just wake up the fuel pump from its slumber. Just make sure not to hit it too hard or you might end up with a fuel leak. If tapping the fuel pump doesn't work, it could be a sign of a more serious issue and you should seek professional help. It's always better to be safe than sorry when dealing with potential fuel leaks. Dealing with ignition switch problems You might think that the ignition switch is the physical lock where the key goes, but that's not entirely accurate. The ignition switch is an electrical component responsible for sending power to the starter and the rest of the electrical system. So, if it fails, you might experience symptoms such as failure to start, stalling, or loss of power to accessories. Replacing the ignition switch is typically a job for a professional mechanic, as it requires specialized tools and knowledge. It's important to address any issues with the ignition switch promptly to avoid being stranded or causing further damage to your vehicle. But fear not, because there's a way to diagnose a faulty ignition switch using a multimeter. If you're not familiar with multimeters, they're a handy tool that can measure voltage, current, and resistance in electrical circuits. To diagnose an ignition switch, you'll need to check the voltage drop across it with a multimeter. It might sound complicated, but it's a simple process that can save you a trip to the mechanic. Additionally, it is important to ensure that the battery is fully charged and the connections are clean before testing the ignition switch. If the switch is faulty, it may cause issues such as difficulty starting the engine or intermittent power loss while driving. That's all for today's video from Car Computer Exchange. We hope you enjoyed learning about the different techniques that can help you start a car with a dead battery, dead starter, or ignition switch problems. Remember, these techniques should only be used for good, not evil. Always prioritize safety and follow proper procedures when working on your vehicle. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who may need this knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our informative videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.